We have children from every corner of Palestine. The film Morale marks a first for Hollywood, an American big studio feature on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict from the Palestinian point of view. Directed by American filmmaker Julian Schnabel, it's based on an autobiographical novel by Rula Jebriel. It links the lives of four Palestinian women from the creation of Israel in 1948 through the first intifada in the 1980s and 90s. Jebriel, a Palestinian Israeli, grew up in a Jerusalem orphanage. She looks at the film through two lenses. I have con you know, conflicting feelings. There's my personal issues, which is my personal story that was very difficult. But there's also something that's bigger than me. And it's, uh, I love my country. And I would love to have a different future for our children in a way. Schnabel, who is Jewish, and Jebriel are now partners, an off-screen romance that started as the idea of the film was born. Miral was recently screened at the United Nations, which drew protests from Israel's UN delegation. The American Jewish Committee attempted in vain to prevent the film from being shown, accusing it of being one-sided and portraying Israel in a negative light. I think they're silly. The idea of not wanting to talk about, not wanting to have a dialogue, not wanting to understand the other, counting out the, to the possibility of empathy seemed to me to be counterproductive. Morale makes its American theater debut on Friday, first only here in New York and Los Angeles, then in other cities across the country over the next few weeks. The controversy is preceding its release, though. How does Schnabel feel about potential negative audience reaction in the United States? If you don't he says he just wants to start a conversation. The idea of making something that can be a vessel, that can be used to describe, to argue with, to examine and let people take it apart, but let them ask the question. Two states, one state, I don't care, I want to live. I think Palestinians and Israelis, those people are in the same boat, and they just got to get rid of their leaders in a non-violent, beautiful, peaceful revolution. I have seen this before. But as the circle of blame and violence in the Palestinian-Israeli conflict continues, such sentiments seem a long way from being realized. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, New York.